Hi, my name is Ryan and I am the developer and founder of VapeJet. And today we're going to talk a little bit about our semi-automatic cartridge filling solution, the Jet Fueler. Some of the things that make this system different than other cartridge filling systems on the market are our fluid dispense path and the extreme care we take for process control temperature. So talking about the fluid dispense path, we start with a stainless steel one liter reservoir, which is connected down into the pump housing, which includes a ceramic on ceramic mechanical valve, as well as a syringe pump. You'll also notice here at the bottom is a needle connected to a lure lock adapter connected to this heater. Let's talk about process heat real quick because it's vitally important to keep the temperature of the oil as it's pumped consistent throughout the entire process. We do that by having three independently controllable PID heaters. The first is on the reservoir, the second is in this pump housing, and the third is the lure lock adapter here at the bottom. This first heater is a silicone heater pad connected to the stainless steel reservoir which is controllable through our software to set the temperature and eliminate oscillations in temperature keeping. Next up is the pump housing. This is a forced air heater also hooked up to a PID controller and controllable through the software and that maintains the temperature of this system inside the pump chamber as well as this hose to keep the line nice and warm as the oil flows through it. Finally, we have a heater here at the bottom which heats just the last quarter inch of tubing along with the stainless steel lure lock adapter and what that does is it gives the product a final blast of heat before flowing into the cartridge. By keeping this a little bit hotter than the rest of the system, you're able to maintain lower oil temperatures while storing it. Another key feature of the jet fueler system, which is enabled by that ceramic on ceramic mechanical valve, is our pressurized supply side. We pressurize this reservoir using clean food grade nitrogen to about 20 to 40 PSI, depending on the viscosity of the fluid. And what that does is it allows you to keep your fluid at a lower temperature than would otherwise normally be required to pump it through a system like this. So let's talk about this reservoir a little bit more and take it apart and look at what's inside. Again, this reservoir holds one liter of oil and is easily accessed by taking off the top clamp, removing this plate, taking care to set the O-ring aside. And you'll notice there's a dip tube in here which, once it's installed into the system, pulls oil from the bottom corner to ensure you get all the oil from your reservoir. Let's go ahead and pour in some preheated oil. Remembering to put the, the uh, O-ring back on. And now this reservoir is ready to be reinstalled into the system. Once the oil has been loaded into the reservoir, we're ready to reinstall it onto the system. Simply take the reservoir, place it on top, connect the electrical, and then connect the supply line. With the supply line, finger tight, then take a 9 16 wrench and give it an additional quarter turn. Once that's complete, take your nitrogen quick connect and connect it into the system. Now we're ready to prime the pump. 
Now that the reservoir is loaded and pressurized, let's go ahead and turn on all the heaters. So from the interface, you can simply click toggle all heaters, which will turn on the needle, chamber, and reservoir heaters. You'll notice all those heaters are currently heating up, which is why the power levels are all at 100%. As each section comes to temperature, you'll see those power levels start to throttle down so that we maintain temperature without a lot of oscillations up or down. Now at this point, we're going to let the system warm up for 10 to 15 minutes before we proceed. Now that the product is loaded into the system, we need to prime our pump. The pressurized aspect of the jet fueler makes that incredibly easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a beaker and place it underneath the needle and then on the front panel of the machine, we're going to hit bypass. What bypass does is it connects the input port directly to the output port. Because our reservoir is pressurized, that pressure is gonna push the oil through the system. So, I'm gonna hit bypass. And you can see the oil starting to flow out nice and smooth. Done. That's it, now our system is primed and ready to start pumping. We're ready to calibrate it and set the fill level for a cartridge. We're gonna need a few empty cartridges and a scale. You're going to tear out one of your cartridges so that it displays zero on your scale and then we're going to use the interface and click the calibration button and walk through this wizard. The first thing we want to do is set the initial fill level. These are one gram cartridges so I'm going to drag the slider to somewhere around one. Click the next button. And on this screen, we're able to set how fast the system pumps. So you can change the speed of the charging motion and the dispensing motion independently of one another. The reason that's important is with some cartridges, you don't wanna to pump too fast or the oil can overflow and bubble out one side before it's had time to fully flow around the center post. So we're going to set this one to 1, so the fastest charging speed, and a dispensing speed of about 10, which is mid-range. Click Next. And on this screen, what we're going to do is dispense a couple times and tell the system how it did. So we want 1 gram. So Take the teared out cartridge, put it under the needle, and hit cycle pump. You can see we dispensed in, and we dispensed 1.2. So what we want is 1.05, and we dispensed 1.2. Hit the next button, and that's all it takes to set up this machine. So, let's take another cartridge, tear it out, hit cycle pump, and we are at 1.06. So, very accurate and very repeatable dispenses. Let's do it one more time to make sure. One point oh five. Perfect. Now that the system is set up and calibrated, one of the things we can do is save and load those profiles for later. So if you click the configuration button, and configuration list, we can call this a one gram low visc 
and say, we'll call this the live demo configuration. Hit save new, and there we go. Now, in the future, to come back to this calibration, all you have to do is hit the load button. Now that we have the system calibrated and our configuration saved, we're ready to start filling cartridges. So you'll notice right here next to the machine is a foot pedal. This foot pedal actuates the pumping action so that the operator has both hands to position cartridges. I'm gonna take this one and just set it down. And then let's get some cartridges and start filling. So we position. And that's all it takes to operate a jet fueler system. If you have any other technical questions or just want to talk to somebody in sales, please don't hesitate to reach out. We can set up one-on-one -on -one individual remote demonstrations to go over any aspects of the machine you may want to know more about. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you soon.